My guest at this time is Brian Riedel. He's a senior fellow at the Manhattan Institute, where he is a part of the Economics 21 program. He is with us now to examine the October jobs report, what's driving it, and what it could mean for the strength of the economy going forward. And Brian, thanks so much for being with us. Glad to be here. Thank you. Quarter of a million net new jobs created in October. Unemployment rate stays at 3.7 percent. 200,000 people added to the labor market. What's the big headline for you? The big headline for me is that wages have risen by 3.1 percent over the past year, which is the best in a decade. Uh, you know we've had wage stagnation for a long time. It's, it's, it's kind of felt like a wageless recovery for the last decade. 3.1 percent may not seem great. It's not 6, 7 percent that everyone wants, but it's a, it's a very good start after wages not moving for a decade. And does that mean that they're probably headed to six or seven, or is that just wishful thinking? Uh, well, I think I think if we can maintain three and even get to four percent for the next couple of years, that that will be a significant increase over the past. It's always hard to maintain wage wage growth at you know five, six, seven percent. But like I said, you know, even a couple percent for a couple of years um, can make a difference. And interestingly, wages are rising the fastest for those at the bottom rather than for those at the top. Uh, Specifically, uh, workers uh, who lack a college degree and even more importantly, lack a high school diploma, have had their wages grow faster than college graduates over the past few years. So that's kind of an interesting development. Why is the wage growth popping right now, do you think? Uh, I think uh, this is mainly driven by the low unemployment rate. Uh, When you drive the unemployment rate to a 50-year low, workers uh, or businesses are now competing for workers. And with that competition, they have to give raises. They can't stiff their employees anymore because there's just too much competition. Positively, this moving forward, we could continue to see good wage growth, um, in part uh, from the 2017 tax cuts. That's going to take a while for the new investment to work through the economy. But eventually, new business investment means new tools for workers, means more productivity, and that can mean more wages too. So this could continue. So let's go back another domino here. Uh, The wages are up because unemployment is down. Mm -hmm. Uh, What's the big driver for unemployment staying this low, uh, nearly a 50-year low? I think right now, businesses have some certainty right now. Uh, now, for a while, uh, especially under President Obama, there was a lot of uncertainty in health care. There was a lot of uncertainty on tax policy. I think we're finally seeing some comfort with the economic recovery. We're seeing some business investment. Like I said, I think tax reform has probably given businesses a sense of certainty for the economy. And overall, I think that's kind of helping marginally. And some of it is just the business cycle. So what do you look for now? How do we keep this going and make it even better? Well, uh, the the first rule in Washington is don't screw it up. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, My main hope is politicians can stay out of the way. Uh, Things are going pretty well right now. Um, Again, you know, I think right now, you know, the tax cuts can can help keep this going long term. I don't think the tax cuts have been a huge driver yet because the main role they're going to help the economy is by – encouraging investment. And it will take a little while for the investment to channel through into productivity and, and wage growth. But if lawmakers stop mucking up with the tax code, leave, leave the current policy in place, you know, uh, you know be careful uh, with, with overdoing it on tariffs and, and trade policy, try to rein in spending, you know, I think we could have a good mature uh, economic growth for the next couple of years. How long till we see the benefits of that investment in these economic numbers? It can take um, anywhere from uh, two years to, to five years, probably. Yeah, I think you'll, you're going to start seeing some positives uh, from that in the next year or two, and then it'll continue several years down the road. Um, but that's the thing with, with investment is businesses first have to decide to expand. Then they have to actually build the factories and buy the tools and arm the workers and train the workers. And then the productivity comes. That, that process, I think maybe in the next year, that's going to start giving an extra push to the economy. And the good thing about that kind of boom is that's long term. That's not like a, sugar, like a stimulus sugar high. An investment-based boom is a long-term structural improvement that can raise wages permanently over the long term. So while you have to wait a little bit longer, it's not a sugar high stimulus. It's real.
All right. Lastly, Brian, uh, you mentioned the best thing uh, that mem- people in Washington can do, and that's leave the economy alone. Uh, what uh, what concerns you? Any um, indicators out there that you are particularly concerned about? Uh, in terms of the economy or in terms of politicians? <laughs> Let's stick to the economy for right now. Is there any? Uh, right, right now, I think the biggest danger to the economy is politicians. Um, I think right now, uh, well, and I also add that the Federal Reserve is always a bit of a danger, that they could overreact to the economy doing well really significantly raise interest rates uh, and start to push down uh, too aggressively on, on economic growth. So I'm a little worried about the Federal Reserve. Uh, I'm a little worried about politicians mucking up uh, a little more with taxes. I'm a little worried about tariffs. I think the economy is going to do okay if Washington can, can not screw it up. That's always the wish. Whether it actually happens is a whole other story. I guess we'll get a little bit of an indication next week about uh, what's going to happen here in Washington for the next couple of years anyway. Brian, thanks so much for your time today. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Brian Riedel, Senior Fellow at the Manhattan Institute. I'm Greg Columbus, reporting for Radio America.